Hello friends, thanks for joining me today. I am uh, painting in Rochester, actually, Rochester Hills, Michigan. Kind of ironic little twist. Uh, I moved away from here in 1956. <laughs> yes, I was young, but two. <laughs> and uh, I, let me show you the space I'm in today. I am in conservatory. Uh, Royal Park Hotel, nice place. So that's more or less, that's the scene that I'm doing today, like that. And of course, I'm getting started a little bit before everybody gets here. Oh, sorry about the jerking there. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, a lot of green in this. So that would suggest I start with a red and purple. Wouldn't it? <laughs> Why would you start with red and purple? If there's going to be a lot of green, well, that is that is the point. Because I want to start with something that's the opposite of what my final color palette is going to be. And I want to start out with some shapes that have absolutely nothing to do with the subject matter. That was easy, wasn't it? Now let's do some drawing. So the drawing, likewise, at this point, will be in uh, the same color, purples and fuchsia, fuchsia pink, magenta, and this stuff. There's one quick, quick and easy tip. If you're ever painting inside, a building inside a room, generally speaking, you put the opposite corner, so to speak, um, one of the corners at the one-third, at the one-third point. Got it? That gets you, at least it just started off on more or less the right foot. And again, I'm going I'm to throw these, all of these lines, I'm going to throw them down pretty quickly just to get started as accurately as I can, but not, not so accurate that, that I'm paralyzed by indecision. Does that make sense? This is the way I do it anyway. <clears throat> Go ahead and start getting some information down and always be ready to, willing to adjust. Always, don't, don't get locked in. That's, that's the main thing. Don't lock in. So if I'm correct, that's the, essentially the um, inside the box that I'm standing in. <coughs> Thank you. 
So it's obviously basic, real basic two-point perspective. <laughs> the challenge is both points are, are way off, the, off of this plane. One vanishing point is way over there. The other vanishing point about, oh yeah, the other vanishing point, easy, right there. That might help a little bit. trying to mess you now. I want to watch it on an expert in action. Please do, please do. To get a little bit of a head start, or I won't finish when people are here. This is the first time I've painted inside a conservatory. 
I heard, I heard the word that, it, that this wedding was going to be in a conservatory. I didn't really know exactly what that meant. Um, but I was happy to see that when I got here, um, this matches my impression. Yes, this is what a conservatory is. A Anybody know, what is that, where does that word come from? Is it to conserve plants? What are they conserving in a conservatory? Because it's a, basically a greenhouse, right? A greenhouse, and a, a Victorian greenhouse. <laughs> um, except that sometimes there's musical instruments like piano in the conservatory, which doesn't make sense. Anyway, I don't know what conservatory means, evidently. But this is looks like a conservatory to me. <laughs> so evidently, I do know what a conservatory is. It's one of these. <laughs> whatever these is, whatever this is, this looks like a conservatory. <laughs> and um, I didn't bring an umbrella with me because. Uh, I'm painting indoors. Well, it turns out I'm painting kind of indoors in a conservatory. So the sun, as you can see, is beating down on me. <laughs> and um, so I uh, nabbed my wife's umbrella out of the car, had to carve up the handle a little bit <laughs> to fit it in my umbrella holder over my, over my head here. Wow, lots of lines, eh? Lots and lots and lots of lines. Let me put you up here where I can see you guys better. And maybe, maybe you can, uh, if you leave a comment, maybe I'll see it. <laughs> maybe I will, maybe I won't. Um, One, two, three, four. Okay, there's the, the basic bones of the building. I'm gonna take a real quick break right here. And uh, I've got a whole bunch to paint inside and then some to paint outside. Because this building is made out of glass. <laughs> so I gotta paint trees and gardens and a building over there. Okay, thanks for watching. Be back in a few minutes. on board okay um, that was an awful lot of skinny line drawing so let's do 
Let's do some um, some blazes. Do you remember the the dance of painting? I haven't talked about the dance of painting. Let me, let me tell you about that. Um, can you hear me all right? Good painting is the result. A good painting, any good painting, is the result of good process. <laughs> And uh, one of the ways to describe, one of the ways to describe good painting process is to compare it to a dance. A dance with many, with various steps in it. And the steps, in this case, using dance as an analogy for painting, large and small, light and dark, literal and artsy or expressive. Okay? Um, let me give you those again. So, while you're painting, some of the time, you want to be making large marks. Some of the time, you want to be making small marks. Some of the time, you want to be making light marks. And some of the time, you want to be making dark marks. It's convenient that three of those all start with the letter L. Got it? So it's large, small, light, dark, literal, and e expressive or artsy. Um, and you want to, you don't want to do the same, the same dance step over and over and over, right? That would be a very boring dance. That would be a mosh pit. <laughs> Everybody just jumps up and down, right? That's not a dance, that's a mosh, <laughs> whatever mosh is. But a good dance has a variety of steps. So a good painting process is if you've been doing small marks, little, for some length of time, then it's a good, good, good possibility you want to switch to large. And vice versa. If you've been doing dark, it's a good idea, good suggest, thought that you might want to switch to light or vice versa. If you're doing literal drawing, then it's a good chance you want to throw in some artsy marks. So I just did a little bit of that right there because I did a lot of little, uh, little and dark. And um, and so I just finished after, just in this last step then, I did large and dark. Now let me explain dark a little bit. If you're not an artist, you, this might, if you're a beginner, this might confuse you. Um, I don't mean there's dark colors and light colors. Like, you know, some of you might say, well, that green, that's a light color. No, 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 no. It's, I darkened the canvas with green. In other words, which is darker, the white canvas or this green? Uh, the green is darker than a white canvas. So that's called a dark color. It's, and it's color's not the right word, values. Lights and darks values. Um, good. I like this already. I'm going to paint a little bit with a rag here. There's a there's a uh, brick building. The other part of this wing of this hotel over here. Are you the sound man? Yeah. Is that your speaker? Yes. That I'm not getting paint on? No, please don't get paint <laughs> on. Um, I start out rather splashy, so that's why this is here. Okay. In a few minutes, it gets toned down, and I'll remove that because it's not very aesthetic. Perfect. I appreciate but, it. When, by the time the people get here, I'll take, take one. Sure. And, just for what it's worth, if you ever do get paint, it's acrylic paint. Teenager alcohol. Golf. Perfect. Okay. okay. So, I don't think you get any, or I'll get any. But if it does, if it ever does happen, remember that. Okay, so now, uh, back to the dance, right? Light, dark, light, dark, large, small, literal. Artsy. So the last step was large, dark, and artsy. In other words, not the last step was not very literal. It was very vague. Sure, blue sky, green trees, and orange building. Okay, 
Um, everything so far, both steps have been dark, so voila, let's do a light step. And I sure have some, certainly do have some things in here that I need to start lightening. There's a, an arrangement of flowers there and there. And of course, <laughs> there's going to be a bride and groom in here somewhere. Uh, but before, even before they get here, I can start. Uh, and of course, there'll be people here in the sitting down. So I think I can, I think I can begin to guesstimate where, where heads are going to go. Something like that. Let me double check that. Yeah, a little higher up here, I think. Um, yeah, a little higher. Okay, so I think those are heads. <laughs> and um, let's do some more intense daylight coming through. coming through these panes of glass. in the far building. Okay, end of light, little break, back in a few minutes. Thank you. <coughs> Time to get dressed up.
stuff like that. Thank you. Are you um, Yeah. Thank you. No. No, we're just, I'm here to paint the ceremony. Yes, I, well, I was going to, I was going to, I've never seen a ceremony where I was like, that's wonderful. Yeah. It, it, it will be. It's really fun. We travel, we from North Carolina. Okay. My grandmother was born in North Carolina. Really? Oh, and now we're there in Georgia. Nice. Oh, wonderful. We do, yeah, he does events all the time. Live events, Daniel. In fact, um, there's, my, there's a box down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Underneath. Underneath here? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So, back to uh, drawing. Now, I wish there were people here. Well, they will be soon. So I'll draw. I'll draw up here. Until the people get here. So people are arriving right now, and I don't know if I'll be able to keep you here or not. So if you disappear without warning, it's because I've decided the camera is obtrusive.
Oh, sorry. YouTube, YouTube is going to ping me for 
broadcasting copyrighted music. So I'm going to pause here for a little while. <laughs> it's too late. They're going to they're going to ding me already. I'm going to pause a little bit and uh, take some pictures when the ceremony starts. Okay, be back. <laughs> Hi, Jake in South Africa. Sorry I missed your comment earlier. Um, so as you can see here, I've got a photograph on my old phone, several photographs of the ceremony. So I have my work cut out for me now. I've got to paint. <laughs> got to paint 50 people into the painting. Not literally. 50, but While I'm at it, let's go ahead and do the uh, some of the superstructure, the the framework of this building. I have it mostly drawn in in a, mostly the right place.
the expression I use with my students often is being careful not to be too careful. One of the hazards of using a, doing lines in a painting is that once you have lines, you're greatly tempted to color in the lines. In other words, to get tight, to get all over fastidious and fussy and ugly. They start making ugly marks if you start painting in the lines. So that's what I'm doing right now. Being careful not to be too careful. All of this, of course, is still underpainting. So little, little uh, architectural imperfections, wherever, wherever it's necessary, they'll be corrected in the final edit. What is surprising is how often they don't need to be corrected. Some do. So if I need to clean it up, but the goal is don't don't paint clean now. It'll shoot you in the foot. Don't paint too clean in the underpainting.
take a real quick break and uh, be back in a few minutes to do light and uh, white.
Again, sorry, I can't talk to you much. A little bit noisy in here. Um, I'm thinking about. Okay, do I go to oils right now, or should I do one more layer, which would be two more layers in acrylic? That is to say, if I do one layer of dark acrylic, then I need to be white again. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna take a. Quick break. Thanks for watching. Be back in a <laughs> Hello, Donna Gordon. Sorry I missed your comment earlier. So I've just put a another. I've decided to stick with uh, acrylics for a little bit longer. So um, I did yellow, red, orange. And now I'm doing a little blue in the sky. Yeah. One of the advantages of painting like this and layers of transparent color is that I can... I can knock out the the broad composition, the big shape. So you know, the sky, foliage, building, inside the building, people, um, in transparent layers. So I don't have to paint, spell everything out. Little by little, by little. What should be bothered? Okay. The next thing I need to do. Well, let's find a picture of the graduate first of all. I took a whole bunch of pictures. Turn this here a bit. There we go. Thank you. 
Okay, one more layer of white and then I'll switch to oils.
pardon? Are you going to stop to eat? Yes. Okay. May Just I? Making sure. Yeah. yeah. Do we know what table you're at? I can find out for you. Oh, I don't think I'm at a table. <laughs> Have you seen it? Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's your last name? Nancy. <laughs> Thank you. Clean all this up, switch to Good, good. <laughs> Hey gang, welcome back. So I took a long break, I had uh, ate, ate some lunch, glazed the whole canvas, and uh, and now I just started a few minutes ago. Um, doing uh, drawing, as you can see, in dark, transparent oil. One of the tricky parts, I'm assuming you can hear me, uh, one of the tricky parts of this this particular scene is that uh, we're sitting in a conservatory that has a gla glass walls and a glass ceiling. You can see, well, you can see that in the painting, can't you? So sun is streaming through the glass ceiling onto all the guests and uh, so honestly if I if I want this to look like this day this ceremony then I pretty much have to uh, you know what I've got too many people in that front row <laughs> I'm gonna have to pretty much gonna have to um, put sun spangling down on these people so that's a a real new new twist, unusual twist to have the sun and shade there. You just wiped out a person. Once again, I am painting uh, for Matt and Renee in Rochester Hills, Michigan. 
a town that I actually lived in for a brief period when I was a tiny boy. <laughs> so it's good to be home. <laughs> challenge of painting painting a crowd of people. <laughs> Seems like I paint a lot of crowds of people. A couple days ago I was painting downtown at a 4th of July festival so there's hundreds of people. Today it's only dozens of people. But they're closer so it's still quite a challenge. that for a minute and look at that perspective. Yeah, I think it's okay.
Sorry about that. I do not know how that happened. Sorry about that. It's dreadful. Isn't it? I forgot there's a there's a big curtain in the corner. Yeah, I don't need to do it, but I do think it helps. Okay, a little break again. Um, when I come back, I'm going to do pencil, and I really need to really need to zero in on the bride and groom and uh, make sure that I've got a reasonable likeness of them. And then I'll proceed to uh, paint in oils. <laughs> Thanks for watching. A little break. I'm glad you did. I've been watching you from afar. Yeah. <laughs> Please. I just started broadcasting right when you walk, walked up. So, I mean, I'm going to talk to these people too. So, um, no, I was, I was talking to my people. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. Um, this is where I'm at right now. And uh, I am trying really hard to avoid the...
realistic or super realistic or something, whatever you call it, tight, tight portrait. Um, I'm just finding that that that, that approach is, is really a dead end street. Um, then once you try starting to do portraits at this size, nearly impossible. Um, but as soon as you start this size, it's like there's no, what's the word? As soon as you start getting tight, there's no escape. Um, you, your clients have the right to demand perfection if you try to present to them a portrait that is trying to achieve perfection. So the goal is to try to keep it abstract. Try to keep it a little bit more um, John Singer Sargent-ish. Now, of course, he would never, I don't think he ever would never try to do a portrait this size. Um, ah, see, but here I go. Am I, am I falling down the rabbit hole already? I might be. Okay, I'm going to stop and pause here for a minute. And uh, here, I'll, I'll give you a close look. So that's where it's at right now. And, uh, Do. <laughs> I keep saying I'm done, and I go, okay, wait, wait, wait. One more touch. Whoops. That, see? And here I am going to use a, the super, you know, the super fine, um, I'm dropping my brushes all over the floor. The, 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 you know, the super fine sable brush. But I've got to shorten her eyelash just a little bit. I put that eyelash there with a palette knife. Uh, I just got soup. Okay, that might that might do it right there. Just one other tiny thing and that is uh, with the green. I'm gonna dull and make her nose not so sharp. Okay, now I'm hoping my client will like this approach. As I said, um, I, I am discovering that the super realistic portrait the size of your thumb is just, just, it just doesn't work. It's just a disaster. So the key is, of course, the key is to keep it abstract. And that sounds so easy. <laughs> and it is so not easy. Abstract but accurate. More or less accurate. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a little bit on her hair. Oh, and earrings. Let's do the earrings first. There's the, there's the, the portrait. Hi guys. Thank you. In the photograph, there's this lovely, and I would like to capture this if I can, there's this lovely uh, 
reflection up under the bride's chin. Yeah. I think that'll work. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I just discovered a new tool that I need for this kit, and it's just a, a very pointed stick. Like, if you took a pencil and sharpened it to a super sharp point, that's what I want, only wood instead of... Uh, wood instead of... Um, instead of lead. Okay, a little bit more work on her dress. Some brighter white highlights. Okay. Oh. Her chest is too dark. And there we go. Let's check out the room again. Highlights on his ears. What a great painting. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, they're just about done. What do you think? Is that acceptable? I don't want to get into too much detail. Get right right there. <laughs> okay, a little bit of attention then on the uh, the preacher. The official ant. <laughs> nice old gentleman. I like them.
I think that'll do for the preacher. Hey. Hey. I think I'm, I, that's, I think that's what I'm going to aim for right there. Pardon? I think that's the level of abstraction that I like. Ah. For the bride and bride. Yeah. This detailed portrait stuff is for the bride. So, so just keep it abstract. Yeah. Don't you agree, do you think? Yeah. That looks up like her just Yeah. So make her smile a little prettier, a little bit or something. Okay. Oh you're right, you're right, you're right. It got it got punched a little bit. Never ask your wife for her opinion. Lesson number one, never ask your spouse unless you're ready to hear the truth. <laughs> oh yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks for pointing that out. It, it was bigger than that. Well, things happened. <laughs> Anything else, baby? Anything yeah. else? About his head. Yeah, something about his head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got it. Okay. See, always ask your spouse for... In, input. <laughs> yep. Exactly, Mark. So you are beautiful, my dear. If I can just capture you in an abstract manner. Good. Well, that's good. 
Yeah. Oh, you're a wedding planner? Yes. Oh, I am. That's yeah. my wife awesome. giving me five in my car. Yeah. Nice. Oh, gosh. Yes. Falling down the shop. <laughs> That's yeah. the reason I drove her all the way from North Carolina. <laughs> did we <you> try? <laughs> we did. We normally would fly, but it's a long story. But anyway. And I used to live in Michigan, so. Oh, did you? In fact, okay. I used to live in Rochester. Oh. I was two years old. Have you been? Oh, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Would you live nearby? Where do you live? Uh, I live in Farmington. I used to know. Oh, I didn't remember the name very well. All the all the Detroit. I lived here up on the west coast. Okay. Grand Rapids, Traverse City, oh, Tosky, okay. the sexy parts of Michigan. The sexy parts, yeah. Don't worry. And so all the all the Detroit <laughs> suburbs just kind of blended <laughs> into a. Yeah, it's all one. Yeah, I don't know where well, there's it is. west and there's east. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I live west. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I, this is what I do. Um, have you done any? Have you had any wedding painters? I've never, no, never Good. seen. Them. Well, here's what I tell everybody: do some research, go online, just Google wedding painter, and compare, 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 compare it. Right? My number. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, I'll be here for another hour and a half, maybe two hours to finish. Okay. I mean, normally, I, I like the reception to go to or even one. <laughs> I'm the only one. I'm the only one busy. Like, no, no, yeah. stay here. I got work to do. Yeah. <laughs> um, so today, of course, nice, nice change. I just finish any time today. I'll. Work with it. Yeah. Deliver it to you. Yeah, don't be paying on this room after. So. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever worked here before? And this is my first time here. Yeah. It's a nice place. I love it. It's beautiful here. You know, I was thinking, Nancy, have you been outside? I had, yes. Oh, I know. I should live in Michigan in the summer. It's, you know, 98 degrees in North Carolina. Oh, they yeah. could never have a building like this. <laughs> no. It would be 140 degrees yeah, in here. Smoking hot it's a, I mean, the air condition, the air, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's been really hot here. Yeah, I, I understand, yeah. yeah. In fact, I think there was one day last week, y'all were hotter than us. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. my best friend actually lives in North Carolina. Oh. Or South Carolina. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right, on the, right on the border. <laughs> yeah, but we'd be glad to, to come back. Oh, yeah, you know, we'll travel. Um, just to give you an idea, uh, let me show yeah. you. All right, I'm about to put what I hope is the last stroke on this bride's face. I've got a slightly pink flesh tone right there. <laughs> okay, but here's what happens. As soon as I do that, I think, oh, I need some more of that down here. Okay, so maybe that's enough. Okay, the last three strokes on the bride's face. Is that what I said? The last three. Hi, sweet girl. Okay, maybe I'm done now. Maybe. Uh, no, I'm not. I need to cut, cut in under her chin a little bit. She has a nice, nice jawline, and I don't want to. Short, change her. <laughs> I don't want to cut her short. Nice jawline. Let's make sure that. Let's make sure I reflect it. There we go. There we go. Um. Yeah. Would you know it? Would you know it? It's a little too extreme. <laughs> okay. Back to the flesh tone. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is how bad paintings happen. A little here, a little there, and next thing you know, it's a disaster. Okay. There. Okay. I think I'm. I think I'm done with her. Um. Whew. Wow! 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 Um, trying to 
to keep this nice, nice. These are my favorite brushes, Silver Grand Prix. I've got some bristles that are trying to turn into runaways here. Now's when it would be a good time to have some uh, good brush soap. Okay, I don't have any. Okay, uh, whew. I, I think, I think um, that's good enough on the bride and groom. All I'm doing now is adding a little bit of noise, noise to the to the groom. To the back, also to the back of her. There we go. Um, now, time to do some pencil here, there, here, there, and everywhere, wherever it's needed. Um, I think the next thing I'm going to do on these people down here is some mid-tone, flesh-tone, mid-tone, not, not too light, not too dark.
Okay, now I'm going to switch around to a pale blue uh, and start doing, you know, blocks of, of clothing, shoulders and so forth, starting with a very neutral tone and neutral uh, color, brownish, I mean a grayish, cool, cool gray. And I'll come back later and add, add clothing color on top of this. Again, the process that I'm going through when I do this kind of painting is very much, you know, scribble line, uh, picture in the clouds. Um, I'm looking for things that look like people. It's not all. It's not all planned out. I I allow myself to paint pretty loosely so that uh, just the shapes of the individual people begin just begins to emerge out of the mist without me hyper controlling it without me getting all tight <laughs> what do you think it looks good how old are you sweet girl nine nine are you a budding artist by any chance what does that mean <laughs> does that mean? Does that mean you like to draw a lot, and maybe you'll be an artist when you grow up? Not really that good, but yeah. <laughs> What's that for? Yeah. The phone? Yeah. That actually, at the moment, I'm broadcasting on YouTube so that people can watch me while I paint. So my phone is is doing the broadcasting, and this camera is talking to my phone. So that's what's that's going good. on. That's what's going on there. Yeah. yeah. That's good. What's two girls. There's two girls at this wedding. What's your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is called Dan the Art Man. Is your name Dan? Yep. Dan the Art Man. Dan the Art Man. <laughs> that's right. I'm Renee's little kid. Are you? Are you what? Are you Renee's daughter? Yes. Are you really? I met you babysitter earlier. <laughs> well, congratulations to your view. <laughs> Am I in there? No doubt. I think you're back here somewhere. I'm in the front row. Yeah, yeah you're up there. See, that's light get bouncing off your hair. Can you do my head? Can you <laughs> we'll do the back of my hair? We'll see. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, I'll try. Oh, that ought to be easy. That ought to be easy enough. <laughs> there you go. Blue dress. Dark blue and light blue. Are you going to draw the sun over there? No, no, no. The sun is out of the picture. I'll just draw the, the light that's coming from the sun. How long have you been painting? Really, my whole life. My dad was a good painter. And so... I started drawing when I was real young. Okay, so far I feel like I'm happy with that. Um, starting to look like a group of people. It's so a little pain. I was hoping that you could capture me. I, well, I'm I about to. Where are you sitting? Were you were here. <laughs> me and then the sister. Excellent. Okay, just two, eh? Okay. I start. Yeah, off. no, it's too funny. I was joking. Let's see if he yeah. actually gets my. Um, my That's dress. funny. Well, it's. As a matter of fact, so I'm about to start putting some color in, on their, in their clothing. Yeah. And for some reason, I always start with red. I don't know why. And, and I usually put at least one woman in a red dress. 
So, way to go. There you go. You're, At you're, least I can cover it for we, you. It's legit. We won't, we won't, <laughs> <laughs> we won't be able to now. Yeah, now I have to decide here. I take this person right here. It's so nice. Thank you. Thank you. So I don't know if that's you or not, but that, that's yes, my, no. those that are my, those are my sister. Yeah, that could be sister. <laughs> Okay, so now I either go orange or purple. And for some reason today, I'm gonna go around the purple end of the wheel. So from red to purple. There was somebody in a purple dress. Was there? <laughs> okay, was there anybody in an orange dress? Probably not. Sure. Actually, you know what? I think there was. Not a not a dress. Yeah, it might have been yellow. My my picture phone is around here somewhere. I did take a picture of the crowd. Yeah. Oh look at <laughs> right in the right in this front of right in front of me. Oh. Hey gang, um, I'm all finished with the, with the front. Get you pointed the right direction. There we go. So that's the that's the finished painting. I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, it's been a long time since I it's been a long time since I showed you what comes next. So most of the time, this is what I do when I'm doing a live event painting. I have to paint the top and the bottom. I have to paint the edges. So that means breaking out, putting away all the oil paints, breaking out the acrylics once again. And uh, most of the time that means opening up all these little pots again and getting acrylic paint on my fingers again. <laughs> it's a bother, but Just part of life. Oh, okay. I still have a damp rag, and I, I love using um, one of these little one-inch chip brushes. Are perfect for doing the edge of a canvas. Let me show you what this entails. I'm, I'm going to try to match. The sun is really challenging at the moment. So I'm trying to match you know, what's on the front of the canvas as if the painting was done all the way around. Usually it doesn't take very long to do this. Depending how complex this part of the painting is. But good news, usually the edge of the painting is not that complicated, so I can get away with just a moderate. Okay, now here's there's a whole bunch of basically gray stuff. I don't have any gray color, of course, <laughs> any gray paint, so I'm just going to mix up some purple, green, and orange to get, to just try to match what's already there. I think you're understanding that. <laughs> ah! See, all tangled up.
this is for sure the only time in my life that I've painted indoors uh, and had um, a lot of trouble with sun. <laughs> it's, 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 this building has a glass ceiling. First time for everything. Okay, then typically, once I've got the, the basic colors down, whoops, I didn't pour, it up, pour out a bucket of water yet. Some kind, more more times than not, it's with with white paint, but not not this time. I just have to mix up something dark. So, phthalo, violet, and brown. And this in the acrylic world makes a pretty good. And just can you see what I'm doing here? Whoops! Oops. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness, my day has been, that's just par for my day. I'm so sorry. So. <laughs> oh, crappy production quality. I am so sorry. Okay. So that's it basically. I'm, I'm not gonna show you doing the other side. Just a little bit of just a little bit of work to get the bottom to look like it wraps around. I'll do the same thing on the top, then I'll put a wire on the painting and I'm all done. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing anything arty, artsy tomorrow or not. If I do, you're on board. Otherwise, see you soon. Thanks.